Hi students, this is Aswam Mushtaq from DW Vibes and in this tutorial I am going to explain how to check the given set of the vectors are linearly dependent or not. Okay, the one way is to look at the entries of the vectors individually and see if there is some correlation existing between them. So if you look at the vector V1, its one component is equal to 0, fine. And while looking at the other two vectors which are v2 and v3 we can see that the entries of the v2 are 1 minus 1 1 while v3 is equal to 2 minus 2 and 2 so it means we can never obtain v2 and v3 from v1 why because its third component is 0 and no matter with whatever the non-zero constant we multiply with v1 we can never obtain v2 or v3 from the v1 fine but Looking at the values of the V2, we can see that there is existing certain relation. So V2 which is equal to 1 minus 1, 1 while V3 is equal to 2 minus 2 and 2. And from here we can see that the, if we scale the vector V2 2 times, so 2 times of V2 will be equal to V3. Fine. So, what does it mean? It means that V3 is equal to 2 times of V2 and the value of V3 is actually depending on the value of V2. This is one way to see the correlation. Another quickest way if you are having the vectors, write them in the form of a matrix. Alright, so let's just do it now. 2, 2, 0, then 1, minus 1, 1. 2 minus 2 and 2 and always it's okay if you write either in the column or row wise it's, it doesn't matter I have written these vectors row wise so the resultant will not change fine if you get a square matrix just like over here we are having a square matrix of order 3 by 3 find the determinant so determinant of a will be equal to let's expand it from the first row so we will have two times of minus 1 1 minus 2 2 then minus 2 1 2 1 2 and then plus 0 and you will have 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 fine so 2 the determinant will be minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 plus 0 because all the multiple of 0 will result in 0 fine so 2 this will be 0 minus 2 again 0 so you can see the determinant comes out to be 0 so what does it mean whenever the determinant of the vectors formed by the set of the vectors is equal to 0 the vectors will always be linearly dependent so you don't need to verify it using the linear combination equation this is the quickest way to check the given set of the vectors are linearly dependent or independent